I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Super Liminal. I'm already fearing the choice to play a puzzle game, <laughs> but this looks really cool. We'll see probably pretty quick here. Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Yes. Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? Yep. At the Pierce Institute, our patent-pending Somnusculpt technology Paint. provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnusculpt will make your dreams come true. You gotta have British voiceovers in your game. Doesn't matter what game you are. Um... Portal? You know, Wheatley. Um, Little Big Planet, Stanley Parable, of course. You just gotta have it. Just, just get, just get some old British guy. Read a bunch of stuff. Makes your game better. <laughs> I like this. Just written on the wall. That's cute. Um, so this is super liminal. Let's just sign those terms of service without reading them, as one always does. Oh, and the door's open. What are these, like, wall crunchers for, anyway? Are those, like, to block off, like, fire? Are they, like, fire block wall things? Ooh, chest piece. Hmm. Strange. Very strange. Very strange indeed. What's going on here? Perception is reality. It sure is. <laughs> so, as you might have guessed, primary gimmick of this game is the whole perceptional kind of dealy Terms Watson. of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. <laughs> Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. Oh, I need to meet some of that. I do think, um, I tried writing a dream diary and I, I kind of got too lazy with it. But, um, it really does help get your dreams really more detailed, or at least you remember your dreams a lot better. I'm not sure your dreams actually change, but you, you go from, like, I would remember, like, almost nothing to I could remember a whole bunch, and I just kind of... No object to be on this point at all times. Uh oh. I thought I was being sneaky. Nope, I'm not. Okay. You can smell that beige. You can just smell it. Buildings with this kind of beige and these kind of walls, they just kind of have that smell to them. You know what I mean. Maybe. Eh. Hard. Wait a minute. Oh, -ho. oh, -ho! science. There we go. Reminds me a little bit of a uh, glitchophobia, which is a little demo of a kind of a uh, puzzly situation. There we go. I like a good puzzle game once and again. I just, my main problem, I've said it so many times, but... <laughs> Confirmed. You can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol, and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. <laughs> I do not care. <laughs> Thanks, lady. It's good to know that. Um, yeah, puzzles, I, I, I basically solve puzzles at work. I, I'm a programmer and just kind of lots of troubleshooting and that kind of stuff. So puzzle games, right click and rotate. Oh, we're gonna make a big old cheese. Um, a big old cheese. Um, 
stairs. Reminds me of Neopets. Oh. Can you imagine just stepping in soft cheese? That's a little bit too small. Now it's better. I don't know if this could be some um, Octodad vibes. During eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence. I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Thanks. Please complete the remaining orientation activities. <laughs> definitely, the, the sense of humor definitely feels kind of uh, Portal inspired. I mean, how how do you do a first person puzzler these days without a, at least a little bit of Portal in there? I don't know what I get. Dream soda. Don't drink the water. Warning. You have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable <laughs> degree of force can and will be authorized oh. to ensure patient safety. Please return to the orientation pathway. But I just want some dream soda. Made with real avocados. Oh, hell yeah, dude. It's great. Give me the, yeah. yeah give me the avocados, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh! That's a bit too much avocados. Oh, uh, now it's even more! Oh. It's smooth. Please use other door. No, I want to use this door. This door is cooler. It's got pop. Alright, whatever. We'll get, uh, mini soda! Little sap. I can't crouch. Crouching would be helpful to change items sizes. No longer mini soda, is it? I wanna read what's on it. I'm so I love reading stupid text. The North Star drink. I love reading stupid text in video games. Just put a bunch of stupid text in your game, and I will adore it. I don't think that's even how you're supposed to do that, but I did it. These are also, the, these doors are literally in Portal, the little object confiscation grid. Who, who, who's this man? Oh, I see. I need to make this feel more farther away, like that. I think it needs to feel even smaller. Okay, no. Just like that. Aw, oh, come on. There we go. Okay. Let's see how this works. All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. Ooh, gift card! Oh, can't plop it through there. Wait a minute. Hmm. <laughs> I gotcha. I like this. This is cool. No items. People without items beyond this point will be fine. <laughs> Funded by Mothers Against Items. Love Mothers Against Items. Join their Facebook. Ah, yes. Chess room. Chess room. That feels Danganronpa-y. Just chess room. Did we ever figure out what was the deal with the big Osiris eye or whatever? In um, Danganronpa 1? In that one segment? Like, what was the deal with that? It was just there. That's, you know, that's where it came from. It was just kind of there, and I never heard... No one I knew knew, like, what was... What was the deal here? Yeah, it's infinite hallways. Some good old recursion. We just played a big old recursion-y game. If you like this game, you might check out um, Manifold Garden. Really cool game. 
Um, so I need an item. What's the deal here? Oh no. Oh! <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Okay. I guess it was loose was your hint for that. this inside there somehow? What does this one even do? Oh. Oh, I see how it is. I see how it be. Uh, kind of. Alright, so I'm in here now. If I could break this window or something, that would be great. Can I like... No. <laughs> That's tiny. Um... Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> I love that the sound changes. Uh, oh jeez, even bigger? Now we're talking! Ooh, ooh. Oh, I shrunk it. No, no, other way. Oh. There we go. <laughs> okay. My brain's not giving up quite yet. Please stand by for polite recognition on your completion of the Somnasculpt orientation. Ooh, polite. You did it. Yay! To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. Uh... Curious. Can I, can I get a little, get a little oomph? No. Hmm. I think you guys broke it. Was Jeff in here? I hate Jeff. Always screwing things up. Give me the cheese. Yes. Bricks. I use the cheese to destroy the wall up. Alright, I have cheese. Damn if I know what cheese is gonna do for me. There's doors out there. out there but what is it what good does it do me could be sneaky Charlie sneaky oh this is the exit now this is the exit now okay no I thought it was so clever. Oh, it's tiny. Oops, it's like a stick of gum. Okay, I have an exit sign. But... I keep making it smaller when I'm going to make it bigger. Oh, it's working! I tried this with the cheese, but it didn't seem to work. Come 
on. You can squeeze through there. Come on, man. Don't be a wuss. Cheese. Blessed are the cheese makers. Oh. There we go. Okay. A little bit of extra effort required there, but hey, we, we, we did it. Whatever. Y'all got any of them puzzles? Ooh, put my hand in that vice. Um, got some stuff. Very Stanley's parable feeling of the going off the beaten path thing. I, I need to do a video of that sometime. That's just one of those games that like... Oh. I know I'll like it, but everyone else already did videos of it. Oops, I woke up. Um, so I don't know, I just feel weird doing a video of it. I shouldn't be a hipster, I know, but... It's kind of point of my channel is to show you kind of stuff that you haven't seen before. Well, I'm awake now. Shut. Shut face. It's 3 a.m. It's 3 a.m. at the Krusty Krab. It's a game I just played just today, actually. <laughs> just a photo of a blood-red nuclear holocaust. Okay. I guess it's the same picture. Oh, wait, no, it's not the same picture. It's similar, though. Uh, hello? D Dr. GLaDOS? I, I did the thing. I've successfully dreamed a dream. Private. That's where the privates are stored. <laughs> no fire alarm? Really? Wow, this building's a death trap, dude. Oh, that is an ancient time clock. Oh my god. Uh, I want some dream soda. Give me, give me baking soda. Hell yeah. Am I still dreaming? I think so. Yeah, I'm still dreaming. Bonk. Uh, what's up? Can I get any, oh, look at that good old CRT. Take a nice can of baking soda with me. What's it say on it, though? Roll around a bit for me, buddy. There you go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, but what does it say on the front? I gotta read it. Ugh. I'm sorry, I have to read descriptive text. It's, it's, it's a serious problem. No, let me read it! Sometimes I can push them around, sometimes I can't. I don't fully understand that. I feel like you're probably not supposed to be able to. Oh, whatever. Whoa! Fancy! This is the Fancy Boy Sweets. <laughs> Just testing all of the, uh, fire equipment. And none of it works, which is concerning. Why are clouds always considered so dreamy? I've... Oh. I've never really had dreams about clouds and shit. Oh. What is this, a hallway for ants? It needs to be at least two times bigger than this. Whatever. The exit's this way. Oh, I want a sip. Oh, I can't have a sip. What the? Oh. That one got me. That one got me good. That's a good one. That, that's a quality one. Get some flowers. Oh, I can't eat the flowers. I, I saw this one coming. I saw that one coming. <laughs> they like those. Those, those. those work really well. But it was all fake. I'm still in dream zone, I guess. Welcome to Fantasy Zone. Where do we... Oh, exit. No, exit here. Uh, exit this way. They all just say exit this way, don't they? Now this is the exit. No? 
<laughs> Sooner or later, one of these fire alarms has to work, right? I wonder if I can just make like a ramp? Like just a huge ramp? Almost. Almost. Ah, uh, be a little too big. Oh no, it's too small. <laughs> Crap. Perception is a difficult business. There we go, there we go. Exit. Very literal. Ooh, no, I want I want to see if there's refreshments up here. There's a spooky briefcase. No, there's no refreshments. Oh well. I'm good off that baking soda from before. That was delicious. Well, what's this? Secrets? Materials, aluminum, plastic. New cube design! Too much? Arg, I'm a pirate! Eggshell, parameter code 7A, cloud insert. Order more red paint. Balsed poly corrugated table. Symmetrical layout. Z clipping? Question mark? No. Okay. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And I'd like to talk to you about being special. Special? So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. <gasps> but not to worry. We're working on it. Hooray! I'm special, guys. Finally. Take that, Mrs. Mrs. Crabapple. In third grade, I am special. Screw you. Your math quest sucks. I think I just said math quest. Quiz, whatever. Her math quest sucked too. I bet there's a video game called Math Quest. What is this chunk? There's a little crispy piece sticking out of the wall. Wait, what's this? Oh. Let me guess, if I line it up just right, it's a cube and I can take it. Yeah! Okay. Cube acquired. I like this game. This is, uh, this is really interesting. I'm gonna see if a little bit more story comes up here in the next eight minutes. Um, let's just take this along with us. See if there's a little bit more story we can get. But I think we get, uh, the general gist of things. I gotta get another cube. <laughs> I really like this kind of, um, oh. Hmm. A little piece missing. Interesting. Wait, does it have to be... It looks like a flower pot. Huh. The problem is I don't see that particular item in this room. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> I think it makes sense to be that. That's just a painting. If I step far away enough, can I no longer perceive that it's a painting? No. Ah. Uh. Huh. Wait, what's this? Why is that there? are running out. I don't, I don't want to be stuck in here for a billion years. It's not what we're recording anyway. That's more, that's more for private times. What is this? Oh, that's the projector. Oh, I can't move it though. I guess for a game like this to work, you gotta have to be a little picky on how... which things you can pick up. Different room, mayhaps? Uh oh. No, I'm down here again. I 
I hope I can reach the cube. Fire alarm check. Yeah, it still doesn't work. Um, I may have trapped myself. <laughs> yeah, I think I trapped myself with the, ooh. Nope. Yeah, you weren't supposed to go back after that. That's my bad. Um, yeah, we'll have to reset to checkpoint. So, that's there. Cube? Wait a minute. Where's my cube? Oh, the cube is back here. Oh, it just plops right out. It just poops right out. Alright, so... I wonder if I just, like, hide the fact that it doesn't really work with the cube, if it's just like, all right, yeah, yeah, whatever, it works. No? Because I don't see... Well, that is suspicious. Wait a minute. Maybe if... Ah, there we go! Oh, that's clever. Ugh. I was suspicious of that, but... There we go. Alright, now we can leave. The shadow is a really nice touch, because it can kind of tell you... It helps you tell how, like, where the object is going to be. That's a bit big. Wait, what? It's got stairs inside of it. <laughs> This one has stairs in it. I guess you only need the one cube, but whatever, I'm gonna take both. No, no, no. Get, there you go. <laughs> it's like a, oh, it's got a seat in it. I wanna sit on it. Wait, no, let's just, what is that? Is it's just I guess that's a I can't tell if that's wood or a cushion. Whatever. Exit. Yeah, I figured the stairs one would be much more useful. Alright, exit. Because that part's taped in. Interesting. Um. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, I just had to remove the door to get in. Okay, I get it. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know. But <laughs> Thanks. please keep moving forward, and hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. Sure do. So I've kind of got lost in my own brain, which has happened from time to time, I will admit. Lots of time clocks here. Must have a hang-up about that. I see where this is going. Oh, I need a little higher perspective. Okay, so this is super liminal. This, I think we kind of get how things are going here. Thought I'd do a quick, you know, 15, 30 minutes poking around. Um, I'm liking this a lot. I don't know how entertaining it would be to see me bumble my way through the whole game. But uh, I think that kind of gives you an idea of how this all goes. How do we get up there? Ah, cube. It's always the cube. No matter what game I'm playing, cube is always path to victory. You ever notice that? Cube MVP every year. Every day, really. I just want to get this green boy. Just let me get the green boy, then we'll end the video. 
Actually, is that a queen or a bishop? I can't really... No, that's a bishop. That's a green boy. Um, what do I do with the green boy? Oh! Oh! Wait, hold up. We're outside the studio now! Play that neat! We're free! Just a, just, a, just a second longer. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and we still can't find you. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. Wonderful. I love when things absolutely work. It looks like it's working already. That's... That's an elevator shaft for, for, for sure. The exit signs thus far have been very useful. Can I just like... Oh, hey, that's the thing I was in before. That's cute. All right, this is super liminal. This is really cool. Tap tap here. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon and any relevant links to the game.